Hi there, I'm Gerard from Glamstone and welcome to our installation video. Today, we're going to turn this into a feature wall for the TV. Using a few simple steps, I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply Glamstone. Okay, before we start the installation of Glamstone, let me take you through the basic tools you'd require. A tape measure, a pen or pencil, a square to get your angles right, you could use a piece of timber or a piece of steel to draw your lines. On the back of Glamstone you'd need a Stanley knife or a carbide tip scorer. Then you'd use a good pair of tin snips to cut. To apply the adhesive you'd need a chalking gun and some adhesive spreaders. Then to finish it up you just need a paint roller or a mallet just to tap Glamstone into place and set onto the wall. Once that's all done you finish up with some stone sealer and a paintbrush and clean up using some methylated spirits. That's it. Basic tools that you could get at your local hardware store. To start with, we recommend laying the panels out on the floor as you would like to see them on the wall. This helps spread the color evenly as each panel is unique. This is not a defect, but a feature of natural stone. Once you're happy with this, it's a good idea to number each panel for easy replacement. Now we're going to make a mud map on the wall as per our layout. Let me show you. We've got that one and we can even write the panel number. I'm going to do panel two and as you can see we've got a power point here in the way. I'll show you how to cut around that. Now, as you can see, after putting the three panels, we've got a little strip here that needs to be cut. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to cut glamstone for the small piece in the corner. And also, using the PowerPoint cover as a template, I'm gonna show you how to cut around the PowerPoint. After making your marking with a scorer, you just use a long piece of timber for a ruler to draw a nice clean line. Then you take tin snips and cut along that line. There it is. So we've cut the piece out that you need and that will go straight back into that. That's perfect. Basically now, since we've got a mud map on the wall, we can get a rough idea of exactly where the plug point is and then using the plug point, plug point cover as a template, cut it out on the sheet. Now that I've got the template of the plug cover on Glamstone, I'm just going to cut within that. Now I'm going to show you how to fix Glamstone to the wall. We recommend two types of adhesive, a polyurethane sealant adhesive or an epoxy adhesive. Go to our website for further details. Similar types of adhesives are available at your local hardware store. Today, I'm using a black polyurethane sealant adhesive as I'm going to butt join the panels. This helps make the joints invisible. Let me show you how. After you apply the adhesive, make sure you use a trowel and spread the adhesive out to cover the whole sheet. Today I'm using a 4mm B-notch trowel. So now we're just going to stick the sheet onto the wall, start
starting from the bottom and just pressing it down. Once it's firmly set in place, just use a rubber mallet and gently tap it down to make sure the whole panel sticks to the adhesive. So there you have it, a beautiful feature wall. All that's left to do is put the sealer on, put the TV back on, sit back and enjoy it. Ha <laughs> ha.